Okay, so the next component to create is the key component. So we have the functionality working on the front end and the back end. It's just the finishing touches now. So I'm going to go into my components folder, create a new folder named key. So and index.js in here and also a styled file as well also. Import the styled styled components rfce and this will be called key and i'm going to name this key container which will be a ul and within the key container i want to create two bullet points i'll just name the bullet point which will be not completed and i'm also going to give this a role equal to list item this will be because we will access this when we add our React testing library test in. So this first row will be list. And then all we want to do is copy the bullet point once again and then paste that in underneath. And this one will be called completed. Now all we need to do is create the styles for these styled components. So import key container from the styles and we also want to import the bullet point from dot slash styles save everything so now all we want to do is create the key container export const bullet point which is equal to styled dot li and we also want to create the key container key container which is styled dot ul so the UL is going to have a display of flex, putting it into a row, aligning the items centrally. And we want to justify content as base evenly. And I also want to render this out in here so we can see what's going on. So I want to render out the key component. And now if I save, we have com not completed and completed. Okay. so space evenly we want to give them a font size of 0.8 rem so and a list style type so essentially we want to change the bullet point to a square quite a few here that we could choose but i'm just going to choose square for this one a border padding and a border radius which i will just paste in so the border is the same red as the one above a padding of five pixels and a border radius to keep everything consistent with the app of eight pixels also. And then for smaller screen sizes, we just want to have a flex direction of column on there. So if I now save, so if we scroll and inspect, this will now go into a column like so. So all that's left is to style the actual bullet points themselves. So the LIs. So what I want to do is access the last child, so the second one in this case. Um, I'm going to give the completed a color of red to say that when it is completed, it's going to be red. And then again, we're going to add some extra padding when it is a smaller screen size, uh, just on the top and bottom. So if I paste the padding on the top and bottom here and save, we have a bit more space on there. So that's the key component done. All that's left is the author component. So I will, first of all, clear all my files out. And then in the to do component, I'm just going to render out the author. And we need to create the author. So if I go into components, new folder named author, and then a new file of index.js or fce and this is going to be named the author component oops author component like so the outer div is going to be named author container container and then we just need to create a styled styles file for this so x import author container from dot slash styles like so and then the text in here is going to be created by and then you could just put in 
your own names in there and I'm going to put an a tag in ahref of I'm just going to copy what I already have so an ahref of imrancodes.com that opens up into a new tab and then in the author I'm going to create a styles.js file as well import styles from styles components and in this author container export const author container which is equal to style.span or span you could also do style.footer if you wanted it as a footer but because it's a reusable component the to do component i just want to put it in a span and all that needs to be added in here is the font size of 0.6 rem and the a tag is going to have a cursor pointer on there so now if i save everything we just need to import the author in the to do js and i'm going to delete my comments now because we don't need them because we have completed the app now if i save everything we now have a fully functioning to do app this is now complete and if i press enter up onto the top as it's sorted by the timestamp so the last thing to do now is add in my jest test and this is helpful because it will catch any bugs on the application if there was any because i've created smaller modular components it is now easier to test so now everything is complete and the to-do app is working